So the last thing I want to do is add uh, search capabilities uh, to my website. Uh, so I want to try to put this search bar in there. So to do that, I just reverted back to using uh, not WT forms, but just using a regular old uh, input boxes and, and those kinds of things. So I created a form. I set the method type for post so that the details get carried in the body of the HTTP request. Uh, I created a text input. I give it focus uh, with autofocus, uh, and I set the name to be search string. And then uh, the form action will be forward slash search, so I'll invoke that um, URL, and the value will be search. So that puts that little text box right here. All right, so now if I'm going to grab search, or I'm sorry, if I'm going to send this to search, I need to have a method in my, uh, I'm sorry, a function in my app.py uh, to be able to get it. And so this is my search method, search function. I'll accept both get and post request to it. Um, if it's a post, uh, then I've got some troubleshooting lines in here I'll take out real quick. Uh, if it is a post request, then I'm going to create a form variable uh, and I'm going to populate it with request.form. And I have to make sure that I am importing request up here in order to do this. So now that I have this variable, um, I can populate a new variable called search value with that form search string, um, the field name search string. So the field is associated with the text box. And then once I have the data from that text box into my search value variable, uh, then I'm going to uh, modify it here with a little string formatting. So I created yet another variable called search. Um, and this is just my string uh, that I want to format. So percent, um, open curly brace, close curly brace, uh, percent. Uh, and what's inside of this curly brace, I could put a zero there. Um, this is just a placeholder. Uh, and so it's going to take uh, the search value and put it in here. So this is just a way to format a string. So my string is actually percent percent, which goes around a SQL data, uh, I'm sorry, a SQL query to do, to do like searches or like queries. Um, and this curly brace zero curly brace is a placeholder. And in that placeholder is going to go search value. And then I uh, created yet another variable um, I'm sorry, this is an object. I created this object, results, uh, and the uh, results object uh, will take the Colbert Friends class, query, filter. Uh, I'm just checking on first name, and I'm using the like, the, the SQL like query, and this is the search value that's getting passed in, and I want to return all the records. And then I can just reuse this index page. Uh, so I'll just return index.html uh, and where the index uh, table is accepting friends, I'll populate it with results. Uh, and then I set the legend to be search results so we can see what was going on. So if this is not a post request, it's a get request, then I'm just going to redirect back to the index page. So this friends is going to be this friends. And instead of passing in all friends, like I'm doing up here, I want to pass in the search results. All right, several moving parts. Let's see what happens. So we'll save as, cancel, save all. And notice I have the word mic capital, the word mic capital, lowercase mic, and then mic in the middle of some, uh, some other text. And I'm only searching on first name. Uh, so if I come in here and look for M-I-K-E, it returns those four results to me. If I'm searching for the test, I could search on a T. 
And again, this is only uh, checking the first name. So if we wanted to check multiple fields, uh, we'll have to come in and make some modifications in here. So we'll have to do a little bit of look, uh, looking on SQL Alchemy uh, to figure out how to structure those queries. Uh, but we can query just on any of the, the database tables using the like. Sorry, the database columns using the like. So I did go ahead and take just a minute and figure out how to search on multiple fields to make it a little easier. And uh, SQL Alchemy has this OR uh, operator that we can use. The underscore here is really important. It distinguishes it from a Python OR. But we can filter on multiple columns. So I can uh, filter on first name or last name. Uh, and then I close everything up and then return all the results. Now, if I'm going to use this uh, OR underscore is an SQL Alchemy uh, function that I need. So I'll come up and from SQL Alchemy, I'll import OR. And now that I have those things, uh, if I come back to the, the list, notice I have Mike, 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 Mike is embedded in there, and I also have Mike as a last name with a first name test. That's unique, there's nothing like that. So if I query for Mike, it returns that result. So it's searching first name and last name. 